Did you really think that stars rotate in a perfect, flat, static galactic disk? Well, that would be kind of boring, wouldn't it? This is our galaxy, the Milky Way, and observations have just revealed that it never sits still. It not only rotates, but it wobbles. Hey Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Liu, and in this week's video, let's talk about the Milky Way's giant wave. Before we begin, I want to tell you about Curiosity Box. Curiosity Boxes are a subscription box for nerds. They send you a meticulously curated selection of scientific oddities, brain-bending puzzles, and exclusive educational items every three months. Each box is designed by the team behind Vsauce to be genuinely thought-provoking, beautifully designed, and highly collectible. And if you're the kind of person who asks why about everything, and you appreciate quality design and genuine intellectual stimulation, then this is any nerd's dream. So if you're torn on the perfect present, either for the intellectually curious person in your life, or let's be honest, just for yourself, the Curiosity Box is the answer. You need to check it out. Get 25% off your first box when you use my link below with the code SPACE25. Okay, so back to our galaxy. We've known for a long time that our galaxy is asymmetric. The disk contains large-scale non-axis symmetric features, including a central bar, spiral arms, and a warp. The first piece of evidence that the Milky Way was not this perfectly flat disk came from early radio observations in the late 1950s when astronomers used the 21 centimeter radio waves to map out the distribution of neutral hydrogen gas in the outer regions of the Milky Way. They found that the disk of gas was not flat, but it bent upwards on one side and downwards on the other, an overall S-like shape known as the galactic warp. This was our first real clue that the Milky Way is not a perfect symmetric system. But it wasn't until Gaia came along that changed everything. What makes Gaia such a massive deal is that it's made the most precise map of our galaxy ever. It tracked literally billions of stars, recording not only their 3D locations, but also their 3D velocities. In 2020, Gaia discovered that the galactic disk is not only warped, but also this warping is wobbling. The warp's motion is not static, but processing. It's wobbling, kind of like a spinning top. Within this new view emerged one of the most striking features, the Radcliffe wave. Instead of being isolated clouds of gas, many of these star-forming regions near the Sun, Orion, Taurus, Perseus, Cepheus, turned out to be strung together in a single continuous wave-like structure. The Radcliffe wave stretches some 9,000 light years across, only a few hundred light years thick, and it undulates above and below the plane of the galaxy, kind of like a giant cosmic wave. Its discovery has overturned decades of assumptions. What once looked like separate neighborhoods of star formation are in fact all linked together in one enormous structure. The origins of this wave are still debated. It could be a signature of a dwarf galaxy collision that left ripples in the disk, or perhaps an imprint of dark matter substructure tugging on the Milky Way. But the story doesn't stop there. Building on this work, astronomers have recently identified another, even larger, ripple in the galaxy's outskirts. And they've called this the Great Wave. Just like the Radcliffe Wave, it points to the Milky Way being this restless, asymmetric, and far more turbulent structure than we believed. To uncover these new features, researchers examine the structure and kinematics of two complementary populations of young stars, young giant stars and classical Cepheids. So Cepheids are bright enough to be observed at large distances, so out to about 15 kiloparsec. But they're relatively rare with only around 3,000 of them known. Whereas young giants are much more numerous, about 17,000 stars, but most are found within six or seven kiloparsecs of us. 
Together, these populations provide both reach and statistical power. Both groups are relatively young, ranging from a few million to a few hundred million years old, so they haven't had time yet to drift far away from the gas clouds that they were born in. In other words, they still carry the memory of the motions of that gas. The team started by modeling the big obvious feature we already know about, that big galactic warp, the big S-shaped bend in the disk, and their stars matched the warp perfectly, which was reassuring. But they did something clever. They subtracted that smooth warp model from the data to see if there was anything hiding underneath it all, to see if there are any residuals left. And that's when things got interesting. Both the Cepheids and the young giants showed the same pattern, a huge coherent vertical corrugation in the disk. Basically, a giant ripple that lifts stars up by about 150 to 200 parsecs compared to where they should be. It's enormous, stretching at least 10 kiloparsecs across. So it's way, way, way bigger than the Radcliffe wave. Even more intriguing, the stars in this ripple aren't just sitting still. They're moving away, outwards from the center of the galaxy at speeds of about 10 to 15 kilometers per second. So you've got this combination of vertical motion and outward motion, kind of like how a Rayleigh wave works on the surface of an ocean, rolling both up and down and side to side as it travels. So put all of this together and it's clear that the Milky Way's disk is out of equilibrium and it's still recovering from a recent perturbation. But what exactly caused this perturbation in the first place? This is still unknown. The most likely culprit is a past close encounter or collision with a smaller galaxy, maybe the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, which we already know has been diving in and out of the Milky Way and likes to stir things up. Anyway, that's all I have time for this week. Thank you to my YouTube Perks members for supporting this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe. Hey space cats, fly with me to the stars Faster than light Soaring past Mars Unveiling the cosmos New worlds to explore